uh, go ahead and, and do technique is all these things that we've shown you, some of these things, they don't fit into your wrestling style or you don't like them because you're just not interested in, in it or, or all the above. But what you are potentially missing out on is the concept that we're showing here. And the concept that we're showing in a headlock situation is two things. Every wrestler should have a big feet to back move, a five point move. That's two points plus three. That eventually leads to a pin. Every wrestler, every single wrestler, at every level, should have at least one of those in the toolbox, so to speak. And the other principle that you may be missing out on is how I'm moving my opponent and setting him up with an angle, in this case, perpendicular, 90 degree angle. So when you're doing your stuff, you need to keep that in mind as well. Okay? All right, Matt, come on up here, buddy. This is gonna be really easy. All right, this is called what I call sweet duck under. Sweet duck under, all right? And it is going to be sweet because it's a really sweet setup. All right, you gotta pay attention though. We're in a stance right here. I'm gonna take my hand and make you very uncomfortable. The rule book says no fingers in the face. So you can't, and, and they don't like when you pop, pound a guy in the head like that anymore, okay? Some rest will warn you right away because they're worried about fingers in the eyes. But you can definitely place your hand on the head. And I don't want it on top. I want it almost to obstruct his vision because that's where the setup is. So I want to block his vision a little bit. What is the guy going to do? He's either going to clear it, snap it off, or he's going to grab it. So now he has my hand and he's got it good. I go here head to head and we go to tie up. I'm going to go on an inside tie right here. I'm going to go inside tie right here. I'm head to head with him. I'm going to step like I slide my head to the side like I'm getting ready to do a sweep single here, like this. And then what I'm going to do with his hand on my head, excuse me, my hand on his head, is right from here, I want to wipe that sweat off his face. I want to wipe that sweat off his face. And as I do that, I'm going to circle, step, and squat. Wipe, sweat, circle, step, and squat. This is where I want to be, right here. And then I'm going to finish the last minute rotating down. Come on, easy two. It's a slick move. Slick. So I'm in here, he grabs. I don't take this much time to hit the move. As soon as he's here, I'm tying up. Keep, keep a hold of that hand. I tie up and I'm stepping to this side, and I'm just going to hit the other side. Wipe the sweat, circle the hand out, pop. This is where I should be, in a squat position like I'm in a chair. And then I'm going to finish my ear to the side and get my two. Sweet duck on it. Real sweet. Everybody should have a slick, too. You know, Cody's a wrestler. He likes to beat guys up. He's real physical. But you got to have a smooth move. That's what a slick is called, a smooth move. This is definitely it. I'm here. He grabs. I step. Wipe the sweat and circle the hand, squat, finish the last cycle for my two. Capiche? On three. One, two, three.